Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying a radical expression in two ways. We have 3 times the square root of 2 minus square root of 7 minus 3 root 5. And we're going to simplify this expression. Let's start with the first method. Our first method basically involves setting this equal to something. And let's call this x and then squaring both sides. When we square both sides, we have something that looks like a minus b. So let's use the formula. a squared is going to be 18 plus b squared, which is, you know, uh, going to get rid of the radicals, minus 2ab. That's going to be 6 root 2 multiplied by square root of 7 minus 3 root 5. And that is going to equal x squared. Let's go ahead and uh, simplify this a little bit. We can definitely add these up. That's going to give us, and let me put x squared on the left hand side. That's 25 minus 3 root 5. Now we can go ahead and multiply these radicals under the same, what is that word, radicand. 6 times the square root of 14 minus 6 root 5. Now we got a really complicated expression, but we can definitely simplify this. So let's go ahead and focus on this expression right here. So I'm going to simplify that expression by using algebra. And algebra is awesome. So let's go ahead and make it look like this. Uh, square root of a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. Because as you know, this is the square root of a minus b squared, and that can be simplified. So we're going to set this equal to a squared plus b squared, and we're going to set this equal to 2ab. That means a squared plus b squared is equal to 14. 2ab is equal to 6 root 5. Therefore, ab equals 3 root 5. But from here, we can go ahead and square both sides, and a squared b squared becomes 9 times 5, which is 45. And then we have the sum as 14. So. We have a system here. We're going to solve that system very easily. Uh, it is quadratic, but we can kind of guess and check here. It's because uh, we're looking for integers. Now, uh, in and in this, uh, I just want to assume that a is greater than b. It doesn't matter. They can switch around. But let's just, you know, for uh, convenience sake, uh, let's assume that a is greater than b, uh, so that the a minus b is always going to be positive. And think about two numbers whose sum is 14 and whose product is 45. And those numbers are 9 and 5, right? In this case, I want a squared to be 9 and b squared to be 5 because a squared must be greater. And from here, a and b obviously are positive quantities. So a is 3 and b is root 5. Now let's go ahead and put uh, this together. So we have square root of 16 minus 6 root 5. And this is equal to a minus b. So a is 3 and b is square root of 5. So if you go ahead and square 3 minus root 5, you should be getting 14 minus 6 root 5, uh, which is another way to check our answer. So let's go ahead and plug it in here because this is the expression basically we're trying to simplify to find x. So x squared equals, let's see what we have, 25 minus 3 root 5. And then we have minus 6 times this expression right here. And that is just 3 minus root 5. If you go ahead and distribute, we get 25 minus 3 root 5 minus 18 plus 6 root 5, right? And if you simplify this further, you're going to get uh, 7, 25 minus 18. And negative 3 root 5 plus 6 root 5 is going to be positive 3 root 5. And considering the fact that x is positive, and how do we know that x is positive? Well, if uh, if you think about these values, the first one is supposed to be greater, and later on we're going to find out that it's actually greater, why it's greater, and you can easily prove that, it's fairly easy. So we want x to be positive, so x is going to be square root of 7 plus 3 root 5. If you just go with the negative square root, then you're going to notice that it's not going to work. Great, so we found the value of x and that's what we were looking for, therefore we found the answer, right? So that's the expression um, that we're looking for. Great, let's go ahead and talk about the second method. 
Obviously, second method is different. First of all, notice that square root of 7 minus 3 root 5, which is a part of our expression, right? The original expression was 3 root 2 minus that. So square root of 7 minus 3 root 5 and square root of 7 plus 3 root 5 are conjugates, right? Uh, their squares are also conjugates, their square roots of conjugates, so on and so forth. But they are conjugates, therefore, we can actually add them and subtract them. Why? You'll see in a little bit why. So let's go ahead and start with the difference. Of course, I want to use the positive, uh, the greater one first. And let's call this m. I'm going to go ahead and square both sides here to find out what m is. And if I square both sides using the formula for a minus b quantity squared, I get 7 plus 3 root 5 plus 7 minus 3 root 5 minus 2ab. And from 2ab, I'm going to get uh, the product of two conjugates, which is going to give me 49 minus 45, because 9 times 5 is 45. And this should equal m squared. 3 root 5 cancels out, and I end up with the following. m squared equals 7 plus 7, which is 14. And this is 4, so square root of 4 is 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 14 minus 4 is equal to 10. Since m squared is equal to 10 and m is positive because square root of 7 plus 3 root 5 is greater than the other radical, m should be square root of 10. Now this doesn't really help because in our original expression we have 3 root 2, so that's what we wanted to get, but the difference didn't really give us what we were looking for. Let's go ahead and try the sum. So we're going to call this sum something, like maybe n, because we call the other one m. And square both sides again, right? Let's go ahead and square both sides. And that gives us something similar. 7 plus 3 root 5 plus 7 minus 3 root 5. And then plus 2ab, remember, is going to give us 2 times the square root of 49 minus 45, which is uh, 2. And then this is just going to be 4, like before. And from here, n squared becomes 14 plus 4, which is 18 and n becomes square root of 18, which is 3 root 2. Now, is this significant? Absolutely. Because if you remember, our original expression had 3 root 2 in it, so this might help, right? Let's see how we can use it. So we know that this sum is now 3 root 2, which is kind of funny, right? You kind of start off with um, root 5s, and then it just turns out to be another radical, which is interesting, I think. So now, uh, what is the original problem? The pr original problem is asking for 3 root 2 minus the square root of 7 minus 3 root 5. If you don't already see what this equals, you can go ahead and replace 3 root 2 with what it is from here. Let's go ahead and do it. Square root of 7 plus 3 root 5 plus square root of 7 minus 3 root 5. Right? That's what 3 root 2 is equal to minus square root of 7 minus 3 root 5. Obviously, there, these two are going to cancel out. And we're going to end up with the answer. And this brings us pretty much to the end of this video, right? Because we used the first method and we used the second method. But before the end of this video, I just want to show you the numerical values. And those values are right here. And they are pretty close, right? Don't you think? Well, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.